Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty Pro Mode. Here today for part 37 and round 5 of season 3. We have our first big upgrade on the car for this weekend that we've been waiting for. So hopefully after the last couple of rounds we can get back towards the front of the grid. Our first one then here in Monaco was good enough for pole position and that is where we will start. George P2, Lando P3, Piastri P4, then Sainz, Hamilton, Michael Schumacher, Leclerc, Verstappen, Stroll, Gasly, Alonso, Sonoda and Joe, your top 14 on the grid. So here we go then, the Monaco Grand Prix, the Viper Knights are on, they go out and they're racing in Monaco. And we've got a good start ahead of the Mercedes of George Russell. Into the first corner we go. We still lead those behind as we sneak up the hill towards the casino. And now around the casino we go. George on the back of us trying to find a way through. But Monaco, 99.999% impossible to overtake. As we go down into the best camera angle of the season. The lines have been as everyone struggles not to drive into the back of each other but by the end of the first sector we lead here in Monaco and this is Max Verstappen from 10th place his engine's popped Max Verstappen's engine has gone bang in Monaco and after Red Bull starting to find some decent form after the poor start of the season quite literally Gone out with a bang. For us though, this was the first time I generally felt comfortable on the soft tyres this season. Because the last couple of races before these, I don't know what's been going on with the car. Whether it's my driving style or what. But lap 17, we got the gap out and George did start to reel us back in. But at the end of lap 17, we are going to box for our one and only stop of the day. Hopefully, at least, if everything goes all right. George out into the pits, onto the mediums. We are doing the same strategy. Into the pits, now we go. But we've had a slow stop on the rear left. It's slow in the rear left. Three goes George, three goes Lando. And we've dropped from the lead to P3 in this Grand Prix. Now, any other track, I mean, it's all really annoying, but any other track, it would be a lot easier to get back through. But... This is Monaco, so if we want to win this race, we're now going to have to get creative. George is starting to pull away. We're on the back of Lando, but not for long, because down the inside, lap 21, we're past our fellow Brit. And now we can get after our championship rival of last season in George, in his Mercedes. This is Fittipaldi. Now we're slowing down, and he looks to be out of the race as well. And that's two Red Bull engines that have had an issue here in Monaco. Maybe they've been putting in older engines because it doesn't really matter here in Monaco and it's costing them. So just three laps later we've caught the back of George. Lap 24 as we go through the tunnel and head down towards the Nobel chicane. Into the chicane now. We've gone a bit deep but we've got the exit, we've gone alongside as we head towards the back, we're going down the inside of the back. We nearly put George into the barrier but we have done our classic Monaco move and retake the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix but we've gone deeper, Raskas and now George tried to get back on the inside of us but it wasn't to be and we take the lead of the Grand Prix we had great pace on these medium compound tyres and we we managed to pull away quite a bit from George we pulled away and then our race was really let's see how many cars we can lap in this race but the end of lap 39 the final lap of this Monaco Grand Prix and we are going to make it back to back wins in Monaco. We win 
the Monaco Grand Prix, George Campaign for P2, Lando P3. That's been your Monaco Grand Prix then. A British 1, 2, 3. 4 actually, because Lewis Hamilton is finished P4, but actually P5, Science P6. But what a race. It wasn't the straightforward Monaco Grand Prix that it looked like it was turning into in the early stages. We pulled away from George early on, but he started to get us back. And then the poor pit stop put us back behind George and Lando and we managed to find a way through. We had to get creative like I said because otherwise you're not getting past here in Monaco. So that's the order. This is the championship now. We're still P3. George now leads um, 4 points ahead of Hamilton and we are 10 points back on Lewis Hamilton. We're now still second in the constructors. I think we've actually jumped Aston Martin now so that's good to see as well. But that's been your Monaco Grand Prix and I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit more interesting than it was last year i'm sorry about the pre-race grid and the post-race podium for some reason the footage for the race decided to corrupt so we've only got the replay cameras to go off of but it will be back for the next time but i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time out when we head to barcelona goodbye